Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, we're here for another awesome video in FXCW's Most Wild April. And today is the Great Pyramid of Him. We're going to take a look at my newest build and my newest creation in Minecraft. So if you haven't seen, this is our uh, base that we'll, we'll give a map tour eventually to you guys. But right now is the Great Pyramid of Him. So... This thing has some awesome, awesome features to it. For a second you walk in, you head down this little hallway. And again, this is supposed to be like my main, my main place that I live. Um, you know, over here behind those trees, I have a house. You can sort of see it appearing now. But, you know, that's also the yacht that uh, one day built for me. So if you want to see the video of that, make sure you check it out. It's for my birthday. Uh, but that's where my house is supposed to be, right? But I was like, okay, this is going to be a new structure, a new house, a new area. And I basically took a little island that was just sort of chilling here. Not like in the center, basically right about here. There's an island. Uh, and I took the whole thing over. So you come in here, and again, it's supposed to be... Basically, I don't need to leave this pyramid if I don't want to. So this is my garden within the pyramid. Um... And it has all my potatoes in it, so I can cook up some potatoes. Very, very helpful. And you know what? Let's do it. Let's harvest these potatoes. So we can bring them with us to a spot later in the map that we're going to take a look at. Or later in the building here. I don't know. I knocked over a um, torch. That's, that's not what I wanted to do. Where does that go? Right up here on this wall? I think so. All right, so potato, 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 potato. So again, we're just gonna fill in this whole area with potatoes. And we're good. So the next place that we head to, the potatoes are gonna be crucial for. Uh, we're gonna go into this room. So this is where our potatoes will get cooked. So they'll go into this and they'll drop into our smoker. Uh, over here we kind of have every table that you need uh, but we do have our dripstone with our lava so basically this here helps us get a uh, infinite amount of lava base because the dripstone has a lava source above it and from there, uh, you can really just sort of, you know, have lava flow through the dripstone into a cauldron. You can pick up as much as you need. Uh, so that's sort of built into our pyramid as well. Good spot for that. And of course, go over here to our smoker and cook up a bunch of potatoes. Uh, having two smokers with two hoppers uh, really does speed up the process. Next is going to be an axolotl room. Uh, I have to go get the axolotl still. So basically this pyramid is like 99% done. Uh, that, that's what I'm going to say. It's 99% done. I need like four things. So the axolotl is supposed to live in here. Now I had some before, uh, but the axolotls wandered out. Because I did not know that they needed too deep for them to accept this as a water source for them to live in. Uh, I only had it one block deep, so I've made the adjustment to have it two blocks deep uh, to give them a place to actually live because then they won't just abandon this room. And I don't want to put a door because pyramids don't have doors. So I didn't want to incorporate doors into a pyramid. Uh, but if not, they wander out here. All my axolotls kind of died in this room uh, because, again, they need to have two blocks deep for a water source instead of one like I had. Did not know that. Looked it up. Found out uh, that information about axolotls. Up here, this is supposed to be a second spare bedroom. Again, 99% done. All I need is to get two beds um, and kind of build the design for that bed. That's it. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be a spare bedroom up here. It's got everything else in. It's got an axolotl, a little tank, and we got, you know, a chest, ender chest, all that sort of stuff that you need. 
Um, over here, again, this just needs a bed as well. This supposed to be a space for Gwenatarian. I'm going to have a little room for him. He doesn't know that yet, but you can have a little room for him to put his stuff if he wants to. And then in here, this is like our main storage area. It's got everything that you possibly need. So we got dirt, we got wood, we got tools, extra items, food, blocks, dye, trash, sand, and wool. Over here, we have where I store my buckets. We have another ender chest. And a bunch of ender pearls. And then in here we just got some things cooking up. We got some bricks for some reason. I think I was doing something with flowers. I was making flower pots. That's what it was. So this furnace has a bunch of glass in it it looks like. Um, so that's kind of cool. I guess. But again this is our furnace room. All these furnaces were really used to build this structure. Um... They were set up right here initially, so very, very important to have them in here. They kind of just got moved over here when this room uh, got built. Second to last room is our little axolotl place down. This is the main original one. I built this purely initially to have axolotls before the other one was built uh, that I showed you first. This is my axolotl um, little aquarium. Kind of cool to have the axolotls just sort of chill out in there. A little glowstone. It's a pretty cool little place for him. Next, we head upstairs. And in here is where we have a chest full of random items that I kind of just threw in here. Including my bow. That's very powerful. So, that's been chilling. Um, in here, we have materials that are going to go here. I still got to move some stuff into the house, basically. Uh, but I didn't really just take everything from my old house and throw it in here. Didn't feel like that was necessary, but eventually uh, those items will end up in here. A lot of this extra stuff, like the stone bricks, because the pyramid is basically done. So all the stone bricks can just get thrown in here uh, for future builds. I use these stone bricks quite a lot, so it's a good place to kind of store them. Again, I'll go through the rest of my inventory later on. Up here, this is my bedroom. Very, very nice place just to chill. Um, and it looks very, very cool. That's really all there is to it. But there is a hidden chest. So. That's pretty much it. That's that's the Great Pyramid of him. Um, you know, there is a few cool little things. Like, I kind of want to show what it looks like. The rest of the pyramid from inside. Like, what's behind the walls. I think that's kind of a cool little feature to see. So this is what's behind the walls, basically. Uh, you can see the whole inside of the pyramid going up. Um, so this whole bit here is my bedroom that we were just up in. All the way to the top, this is where my bed is. This is the main hallway we walked through. Uh, this is the main main section that you kind of enter in. This is where the smoker, or not the smoker, the, uh, yeah, the smoker. Uh, the chest is up inside of here because it's just so tall that I needed to expand the height of it. This is the upstairs bedroom area that we were just in. And then this is the main storage room. So I pretty much used most of the area. I mean, there's a little gap here and there's a little gap here. The reason I didn't expand any further up here is you don't really have the most room. I mean, look at this room, the gap that we kind of had to make that area really, really work. We had to build it pretty far out. So I mean, Unless I want to build another room here, which I don't really care to. I mean, I could expand my bedroom out more if I felt like it. That's really the only option that I could see going forward with this pyramid if I wanted to make any future adjustments. But, uh, oh, this is my potato room as well. So, outside of that, I mean, there's not really much to change. I'm pretty happy with the pyramid. So, uh, there you go. That's the great pyramid of him. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my tour. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.